Let's talk about the mindset of a successful blogger. What does that look like and how can you set yourself up for success by getting yourself in the right mindset? One of the most important pieces of advice I can offer you if you plan on starting a blog or really any new endeavor is to know your why. So what does that mean? Think about the overarching vision you have for your life and for your career and determine how this project fits into that vision. What's your end game? Why do you want to embark on this journey? For example, maybe you're really passionate about a topic and you want to share that passion with an audience. Or maybe you want to start a business that allows you to live with a little more freedom and flexibility. Maybe you're not happy with the current media landscape in your industry and you want to shake things up and change it a little bit, make it better. Or hey, maybe you just want to earn more money. And that is a perfectly legitimate motivation if that's something that truly drives you. Whatever your motivation is, keep it in mind to keep you moving forward at all times, even when things get difficult. You can compound that internal motivation with a healthy dose of discipline, which I'd argue is even more important than motivation. Commit to working on your blog and making tangible progress toward your goals every single day, even when you don't feel particularly motivated. This commitment, this Habitual progress is truly what separates world-class performers from the rest. Stephen King famously said, Amateurs sit and wait for inspiration. The rest of us just get up and go to work. If you're just getting started, all this mindset stuff probably sounds a little off-topic, a little tangential. Uh, but the fact is, most blogs fizzle out long before they've had a chance to prosper. The odds are fundamentally stacked against you. But when you're working with the right mindset, when your heart's in the right spot, when your head's in the right spot, it's much easier to make everything else fall into place. No blogger has ever failed mid-keystroke. Let me say that again. No blogger has ever failed mid-keystroke. Failure comes when you stop working. Your blog may not have as much traffic as you want, or as much influence as you want, or as much revenue as you want, but those things can always be improved. That's part of the process. You only fail if you give up and quit. So if you can start with a strong internal motivation and then follow through with some actual discipline and habit in your execution, you will be absolutely unstoppable. While we're on the topic of mindset, I should mention that if money is one of your motivations, your blog is going to be a business, and it deserves to be treated like one. With any new business, there are going to be ups and downs, plenty of setbacks, plenty of challenges, and it's going to take a good deal of time and effort to grow. So make sure you understand that and make sure you're prepared. When you start a blog, what you're really doing is building a media company, and a media company needs a business model. In most cases, your blog is not the product. What you're actually selling, what you're charging money for, is some other product or service such as ad space or consulting services, a book or a course, or a physical product of some kind. From this perspective, a blog is just like any other business. You're selling something of value for money. So it's helpful to think of your revenue model not as monetizing your blog, but as providing a valuable product or service that improves the lives of your customers or clients. Now that's a subtle distinction, but it makes all the difference in growing your business because it shifts your focus from lining your own pockets to providing something people are actually willing to pay for. We'll discuss specific business models in more detail later in the course. The last mindset thing I want to cover is for those of you who don't consider yourselves good writers. This is a mental block that I think keeps a lot of people from even getting started. Look, maybe you're not the best writer. Maybe you suck. But guess what? So did every other writer when they first started. The only way to get better at anything is to consistently practice and work on mastering your craft. Ask any well-known blogger and they'll probably tell you they're embarrassed by their earliest blog posts. In a few years, you will be too, and that's okay. Again, the best way to improve your writing is to write, but I also recommend reading content that's written in the style you'd like to emulate. If you want a short reference guide on the mechanics of writing, grab a copy of The Elements of Style by William Strunk Jr. and E.B. White. I'm also a fan of On Writing by Stephen King. 